What is going on everybody, how are we all doing and welcome back today to the original Road to Glory on FIFA 17. This is episode number 11 and it's actually technically episode 11.2. I'll explain why in just a second but if you do enjoy this episode as always, let's make sure to leave a big thumbs up on the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and always appreciate your comments and feedback in the comment section down below. But today we're going to be taking on the start at least in a live capacity of the weekend league. I'm going to record the first three games live before I go ahead and just absolutely just spam through it over the next couple of days just to show you all how I've got on on Monday or Tuesday. But like I've just said, this is actually technically 11.2. I did an episode yesterday, but I didn't really have much time to record it. I only played a couple of games. Then when I came around to edit it, I just wasn't happy with how it had turned out essentially. So what you will have missed really, I tried out the 3-4-2-1 formation. Wasn't too keen on it at all. We played two games in Division 8, won one, lost one, but still got promoted into Division 7 as champions. And I've essentially rebuilt the team we had around this 4-3-3 formation. There's a couple of things you're going to need to notice here. Bentel have been brought in, the inform. I just fancied trying him. He's going for a bit of discard. He's got some nice defensive stats. He's tall, he's strong. He's going for discard, like I already mentioned, six foot two. And if he is bad, the one thing you just like his pace, we have actually got on the bench Mr. Goretzka, who plays for the same team and everything. He'll still, still work in his team. He's very, very solid, is Goretzka. So if uh, Bentel fails, we can always sell him and bring in uh, Goretzka. And secondly, Scream Adderies. Now, Bit of a story to this, I bought this card on Wednesday, I think it was. It's a bit of an investment to use over the weekend league and then hopefully cashing on. Unfortunately, I paid 79,500 coins. He's currently going for around 50k, so um, we're going to lose money on him. I, I considered just selling him on just to, you know, cut my losses, but I thought we may as well use him for this weekend league now and then just hopefully earn some coins with him. But we're going to be using this team now. We're going to play three games live in the uh, weekend league and then we're going to, like I say, I'm just going to completely spam through the rest of them and you'll see the rest of the results in, um, in the next episode in a post commentary. But this could go two ways, really. It could go horrendously bad and you'll be seeing a very ragey episode or it could go quite well because obviously the standard of players that we're playing against is very, very high. I'll quickly show you as well the instructions, we've got Adariz on uh, stay central and getting behind. Of course, he's got 90 pace now. Uh, we've got Inaki Williams set to stay forward. In fact, no, I haven't done it yet. We'll get it. Inaki Williams on to stay forward because he has got the high, high work rates. Uh, we've got court passing lanes and stay back on both the CDMs. And we've also got the left back and right back on to stay back while attacking. So hopefully, we shouldn't be lacking in defence and we can capitalise in the attacking third. Let's jump into the first game. Like I said, this is going to go one of two ways. It'll either go horribly or it could go really well. So uh, let's see who we're going to come up against in the first game, lads. So I just made a small tweak, lads. We brought Goretzka in for Bentaleb. Bentaleb's still on the bench. I think he will still be able to do a job for us if, you know, we've, we've got a lead to hold out on. He can be someone we can sub on, definitely, to try out. And also, Eric Dermy brought in in place of Babaram and a very, very solid left-back, even though he's a non-rare. But, um... This is the team. I didn't know there was any injury requirements for this, but um, yeah, this is the team. Let's jump into the first game. Fingers crossed we don't get the sausage. Here we go then. First game of the weekend league. What are we coming up against? It's a very, very strange team actually. He's playing a 4-1-4-1, which you never come up against. He's got a silver Italian striker. I think that's, what's his face? That had a, is it Farias maybe that had a team in the season last season? He's got El Sharawi in there. Um... He's got a strong defence with Manalas and Barzagli, I think that is. That is a strange team, though. It's not very often you play the 4-1-4-1. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, he's cut inside me there. Great save. There's a bit of play lag in this game, and it's making it very, very difficult. It's very hard for me, at least. I don't think it's for the guy I'm playing to do anything first time at all, which is a big hindrance. That's half time in the first game, lads. It's nil nil at the moment. I'll be very surprised if this guy doesn't win it though, because right now I've already mentioned it. We've got a bit of a player delay. Whenever I press the button, it's like it takes a split second longer than it should do to do anything. I'm really struggling to play first time football, and this guy just doesn't seem to have it. It's it's bizarre. He's knocking it around like for fun. So we need to take any chance that we can get right now. But the, I don't want to make an excuse here, but it's massively in his favour if that is the case. It's very very difficult for me. You can see from the stats. We've only had one shot to his eight. I'm really, really struggling in this one. Fight through the delay. Adoris, go on. Oh my god, this is a great chance. Come on. Oh, no way. We could have been in. We should have been in. We're in trouble here. We are in trouble here. I'm really struggling to defend. 1 0 down. 79th minute. I said at half time we were going to struggle because of the player delay. We've had a lot more chances than I expected us to have, to be honest. We shouldn't. I'm not going to say we shouldn't be losing, but it was inevitable at some point. 
Uh, it's going to be full time, lads. First game of the weekend league. Unfortunately, it's a loss. 1 0. Really disappointing. I'm going to blame the player lag once again. The delay was an absolute killer. We had some real chances to score in that game, but we just couldn't take them because of it. And like I said, it didn't feel like he had the delay. We'll have a look at the stats. I don't think they're going to be massively in our favour, but I think I expect them to be in our favour. He had 10 shots. Oh, no, we had, we, had, we had far less shots, to be fair. So, deserved him for that guy. Hopefully, we don't lag in this next game, because that made it absolutely unbearable. Here we go then, lads. Game number two. What's he rocking up with? It's a false nine team. He's got Kevin Gamero in the false nine position. He's got Carrasco. He's got Inaki Williams, as have we. He's got Koke in there. It's a very solid team. It's a bit of a um, BPL, La Liga, France kind of hybrid team. He's got going on. We played, actually. The team felt solid in that last game, so hopefully we can have the same again, but without any lag this time. Get Inaki down that long. Come on. Come on, Inaki. It's going to be all you, son. It's going to be all you. All in... Oh, it's a terrible finish, Blade. Oh, I'm going to look at the space for Kono. Come on. Come on, Kono Plianka. Come on. Can we spin inside? We can. Can we go inside again? We can. Kono Plianka, it's 1-0. That's a great goal. Well deserved in this game as well. There's been chances at either end, but we've definitely been the better team. We've got the beating of this guy. You just have to take your chances in his foot champions. You can't afford to keep bottling it, which is what we've done so far in this game. But finally... Connor Plianka steps up and we're 1-0 up. Inaki, Inaki. Adri's show for me. Adri's has show for me. It's 2-0. Come on. That should be game over now. We should not be dropping points or like not getting the win in this game now. Great play by Inaki Williams with the give and go. Pulls it back to Adri. Sorry if I'm not talking as much as I usually do in these commentaries, but got to be concentrating for the foot weekend, for the weekend league. Adri's gets first goal of the episode. Hopefully, that's the first of many for this weekend. Should be game over. It is indeed game over. Second game and we get our first win. Much more convincing in that game. No lag as well. That did help a lot. But 2-0 um, win. Did very well to keep the clean sheet there. It's one of those 2-0 up at half time. If he scores the next goal, it's squeaky bum time essentially. But we managed to hold out there. We definitely deserved the win. And uh, we got one on the board, which is fantastic. Here we go then, lads. This is the third and final game that you will see in this particular episode. And this guy is working up with a very different team, actually. It's a full Brazilian. He's got the likes of Naldo in there. He's got uh, Jonas. I think that's Tyson at Cam. It's Lucas as well. It's not a bad team. Douglas Costa as well. It's not a bad team. It's not an outstanding team by any stretch of the imagination. Hopefully, we can win this and end off the episode with a positive win-loss ratio. Fingers crossed, lads. Nicely worked. Keep on going, Adoriz. Come on, this is a great move. Please. Please. Oh, as if. Oh, we've, we've got a penalty. I have no idea what that's for. We were very unlucky not to score just. We should have scored a couple bar now. We're definitely the dominant team. But what is this for? Defender comes in. Ah, there's, there's just a cross of bodies there. I have no idea what that's been given for, but it's very soft. It's Adoriz that's on it. Please, Adoriz. Please. Oh, we've missed it. We've missed it. God damn it. Oh, it's a good job we got on the end of that because I should not have pulled that defender from there. Will of Ogie, though. Adoriz. Please, Adoriz. You've got to score one of these eventually. Finally, lads. It's 1-0. Adoriz. I'll tell you something. I get on with his normal card just as much as I'm getting on with this card at the moment, which is crazy to say because he's a 93, but he's missed two very good chances. We've finally tapped one that comes our way. We 100% be deserve to be winning this game. Finally, 1-0. Oh, no. oh my god, Connor playing has got some space to go into here. Come on. Can we spin inside? That's what we want to do. Oh, it's another penalty. We've got our second penalty of the game, lads. It's great trick of Connor Plianka. That one is a stonewall penalty, no doubt. Hopefully, we can put this one in. Just comes inside, trips him up. Nowhere near the ball. Always a penalty. Gonna just go straight down the middle with this one. As if we've missed two penalties. I've just went straight down the middle. What the challenge? Come on, we're in. It's Adoriz for 2 0. Please. Yes, 2 0. He takes the chance this time. Two goals for Adoriz. He could have had like five in this game, really, because he's missed two penalties and he missed a good chance earlier on as well. But 2 0, we needed that cushion because a goal can happen at any time, as we all know, and um, we have been dominant. Thank God that's given us that two goal cushion we needed. That's easy, that's easy, that's easy, that's easy. It should have been easy. It's 2-1 now. Please don't make us pay the price for not being clinical. It's Marquinhos that's bundled his way through somehow. 
And this is what I mean about foot champions. You need to be quality. You need to be clinical at the weekend league. Otherwise, you can be punished. Let's try and make sure that doesn't happen in this game. No. Can you believe it? Marquinhos, the fucking centre back, has scored twice to take this extra time. This is what I said. You need to be clinical, and we haven't been, and we paid the price. So, this has gone to penalties. Don't know how, but it has. Yep, first one saved. This is just classic foot weekend, isn't it? Classic weekend league. Get him, we've saved his though. Get in. We finally scored a penalty against this guy. Come on. Yes, come on. We've saved his second one as well. Yes, come on. Come on. Well played, Benzleb. Just about. And he's missed. Come on. We've got to win this, lads. We've got to. Adarese. Missed two in the game. Get in! Yes! Yes! The most deserved win ever, and it's gone all the way to penalties. Thank God we came out with the win there. This is just the start of, lads. A 40-game weekend. I don't know if I'll play all 40, but the stress is so real. It's absolutely ridiculous. Let's just have a look at the stats of this game. It shouldn't have even gone to extra time. Never mind penalties. We get 812 coins, and you can see the stats. 22 shots. This guy 13, but... 22 shots, 17 on target. His keeper had an absolute blinder. But what that does mean is after three games, we've won two. We've got bronze two, which is a nice start. I'm aiming to get to at least silver, which is what we did last time. I think I've got a bit more time this weekend to be doing it as well. So fingers crossed we can get to at least silver. I hope you all did enjoy this video and enjoyed me stressing out, particularly in that last game. If you did make sure, I'd like to say a big thumbs up on it. Let me know how you think we're going to get on. What tier will you think we're going to finish in? And I'll speak to you all in the next video. Let's have a great rest of your weekend. Need you out. Yo, he's niche plays with big games. Then player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates. His video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids. Uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free. It costs nothing. Peace.